Hey y'all! What's up? Today is Thursday, June 7th. It is about 5.40. I am currently on level 2 in my parking garage at work. And the line to get out of the parking garage is on level 2. Like we are inching by. I probably won't get out of here until almost 6 o'clock. This is crazy. crazy. So I decided to turn on the camera and talk to you guys because I just cannot sit for that long. Like this is crazy like I would show it to you guys but I'll like turning around the camera and all this other stuff literally this many cars trying to get out at the same time <laughs> crazy I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in a while even though I talked to you guys this morning at 7 a.m. to show to show you that my sprinkler system is up and working I'm so excited about that I'm so happy that I found that invention like oh my goodness it's a lifesaver my plants would die if it, it were left up to me so I'm glad I can invest in that and it can do it for me. And I can look at my security camera at 7 p.m. in case I'm not home to make sure it came on, but I trust it now because I tested it at 7 a.m. I, I saw it this morning, last night, it worked fine at 7 p.m. So I'm pretty sure it's gonna keep doing that, you know. So that's great. Right now I am headed to, I told you guys I'm leaving work. I'm headed home to let lady out to go to the bathroom and to stretch her legs and then i am headed and oh i have to pick up um i had some margaritas left over from cinco de mayo so i'm gonna grab though grab that bottle and then i'm gonna pick up something to eat because today is girls night in and we're gonna meet at my cousin Courtney's house me me Stacey and Courtney and have girl chat and everything and we usually this is the equivalent of Thirsty Thursdays except we're not going out we're gonna do it at Courtney's house so I'm gonna bring it is BYOF bring your own food and it's BYOB bring your own bottle or booze or whatever but the bottle I have is big enough honestly for all of us so I'm pretty sure they'll have stuff too but we can just mix and do whatever because it's been a while since we sat and uh, caught up with Courtney and she's um that's my cousin that she is four years younger than me so five years younger than Stacy and it's just funny to hear our different experiences with there being that much of a gap between us she's hilarious she's definitely a free spirit and fun to be around when you're like down and out depressed like that's who you want to be around because she will have you in stitches like um that's Marley's mommy in case um you guys are trying to put a name with the face but Marley is my second cousin um, who was, is always the little boy that's always uh, over my house playing with Harper so anyway that's where I am headed we haven't had a thirsty Thursday in a month of Sundays with all three of us because Courtney is also a jet setter and she likes to travel and you know hang out with her younger friends and stuff and us older folks have other responsibilities so we can't necessarily do that so she wasn't available the last few times we did it um Stacy and I met up to go out so it was just Stacy and I so yeah today is going to be all three of us and that's exciting um and then what else that's it for today work was good tomorrow we're having a pizza party on the rooftop at work just for my contract um supervisor <clears throat> to let the entire team meet because a lot of us contractors are under her but half of us do what I do we're attorneys and we we do what I do and then some of the other half do other tasks they're not attorneys so she wants us all to kind of like mingle and get to know each other and stuff like that a little better so we're gonna have pizza and wings and drinks and stuff like that not alcoholic drinks like sodas and waters and stuff on the rooftop for about an hour or two tomorrow so that'll be fun I don't have to bring lunch at all um and then or something else I need to do. this weekend I have no idea well I don't know why I have so much energy I think I'm excited about girls night I don't know um I have no idea what to get my dad for Father's Day if you guys have this problem let me know in the comments below like what do you get someone who first of all makes way more money than you can afford anything he wants pretty much has anything he wants and anything you can get him he can afford a better version of so like it's really hard to get those types of people stuff just because it's just like eh, are you gonna like it and my dad is like super appreciative of everything hold on guys i need to pay to get out 
you think I'd be ready, right? Um. He's like super appreciative of everything we give him, but he says the same thing every year when you ask him what he wants. Um, you know, a healthy and happy family, and he already has that, so he's good to go. That's his answer every year, and every year we ignore it and we get him stuff. So I'm having a hard time this year coming up with stuff. Um, I texted my brother last week, or maybe it was Monday of this week, and was like, hey, what are you getting dad for Father's Day? He sent me back the thinking emoji like, I have no idea. He doesn't know. This is also my brother's first Father's Day, of course. So yeah, uh, I got gifts to get. Um, so I don't know. In the past years, we've gotten my dad like a Traeger smoker grill. We got him that one year. I think that was last year for Father's Day. It was a very expensive grill. So that was um, a combined joint gift from like my mom my brother and I want to say some of my cousins who actually lived at my parents house it's a long story but basically yeah so um that was last year and pre another year my brother and I put in to get him I think they were preseason tickets or no they weren't preseason tickets it was the Redskins versus the Philadelphia Eagles game which was like one of the first games of the actual regular season and my brother swore up and down my father would want that because they are die hard, die hard Redskin fans and of course my brother wanted to go too but my dad really did like it they tailgated and everything my dad used to have season tickets to the Redskins game but when my I think he had my mom had him give those up I think when we moved into this house yeah that was it so that was back in like 2001 I think I was in high school um, and the comp I guess the trade-off on that was he got a theater room so he could watch the game on that but yeah he used to have season passes I I had never been to a professional game because I never wanted to go he used to take my brother or my mom all the time but I didn't go to a professional game until I got grown and um, my husband and some of our friends you know went a couple of times I think I've been to two games and then I took my husband to the Redskins Cowboys game for his birthday last year I want to I think it's his birthday yeah last year because um he is a diehard Cowboys fan so I've been to I think two maybe three NFL games but it's just not my thing or whatever so we got him that one year um a lot of other times for either his birthday or Chris or Christmas or Father's Day we get him shoes like sneakers um he likes the new balance 993s or whatever's out at the time i feel like we've been getting him those for four years just alternating between black and gray and he just keeps getting you know a new pair or whatever when it's time to replenish so i was also thinking about get him, getting him some nike air maxes or something and then going to like the nike outlet and getting him a few Nike t-shirts to match them I don't know uh, my dad works in the IT industry so he dresses up for work Monday through Friday so he's only wearing you know weekend clothes or dress down clothes Saturday and Sunday um, so he doesn't need a whole bunch of that stuff but most of the time what I do is I'll either get him some fresh new balances because it's time or I order he pretty much has the entire entire Ralph Lauren polo site <laughs> as far as the t-shirts um, and yeah I got him a sweatshirt I mean a sweatsuit um, for his birthday this year from there he really liked that and he wore it um, so yeah I don't know I have to figure out what to get him I'm really leaning towards the Nike thing and then I'm also leaning towards getting my brother and my father matching Redskins shirts like t-shirts or something I see some online that I really really like um, these people are so rude here in DC they just do not want to let you over that's my brother now texting me saying his shirt size okay so um, I'm thinking about getting them a matching red skin shirt like just something small for my brother because I'm pretty sure Tia is gonna get him you know whatever for fa for Father's Day I'm pretty sure my parents will get him something too since this is his fa first Father's Day just like I got to get something for her first Mother's Day 
um, just something small. So I was thinking about just getting him this um, red skin shirt that I saw that's really, really nice and um, a card. Um, and then my dad, I was going to get him the same red skin shirt and then either some Nike Air Maxes and some Nike stuff or I don't know. Like, it's so tough um, to get him stuff. I don't know. So I was thinking about going to the outlets this weekend. I probably will do that. But I also need to get my Father's Day cards this weekend because I am not going to wait until next weekend again. Like, oh my goodness. Even though there's you tend to be more Father's Day cards available at the last minute, I'm not even going to get into that. But I still don't want to take the chance because I need one for my brother and one for my father. So I'm going to try to get that this weekend as well. And then I made a reservation. We're actually celebrating Father's Day as a family um, on Saturday. So that's June 16th. Um, instead of Sunday the 17th. Just because my brother was like, oh, I got to go to work the next day. I don't want to be out late. You know, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to do it on Saturday. I made a reservation for everyone at Fogo de Chao. I think I'm pronouncing that right. Fogo de Jean, Fogo de Chao. My brother really, really likes that place. It's like a Brazilian steakhouse where they bring all the different cuts of meat to your ta table side. And then there's a, um, a salad bar um, for all the, the, the sides. We go there all the time when it has something to do with my brother because that's the restaurant that he always chooses. So since it was his first Father's Day, we let him choose. Of course, he chose there. So I made a reservation for there for Saturday. So we're all going to go there. Um, and then I guess we'll exchange gifts on Saturday as well. So yeah, not exchange gifts, but give them their gifts as well. Um, I also would like to see my niece this weekend because I have not seen her. It'll be two weeks on Saturday, and that is absurd. I need to see her. So I'm probably going to end up seeing her on Sunday if they don't come to my mom's house. Um, and what else? I just saw my coworker walking. That's why I was staring over there. Um, what else? What else? What else? I would love to get my dining room painted, my dining room accent wall painted this weekend. Hopefully I can. We'll see. It is my desire to do that. I would also like to get my chandelier hung. We shall see. <laughs> um, what else? There was something else. We are going to start, um planning i did a lot of prep work for my client that i was telling you guys um about for her dining room and sent her like the proposal for all of that and the inspiration uh board for that and everything and did some online sourcing item sourcing for her today um and communicating back and forth with her on what her vision was and you know stuff like that so um, that consultation is going to be next week and then one of you guys reached out to me and wants to be my first virtual um, interior design client and that is really exciting to me I'm so excited about it so we're gonna get started on that within the next week or two as well and that's going to be for a dining room and a master bedroom i think so i'm really really excited about that thank you so much you know who you are um and what else pretty soon stace and i are going to get serious about this birthday party business for miss harper her birthday is july 24th it's coming up um i know you guys think that that's kind of far but it's really not like as far as party planning now she has reserved I think she's reserved the space, the place. I think it's going to be at Pump It Up. Because Harper likes, you know, she's busy now. So she she likes to be able to jump and have fun and run and play with all her friends and family and cousins and everybody. So um, I suggested Pump It Up. Stacey checked it out and she loved it. That was her number one choice. We still don't know if it's going to be in Virginia or Maryland. Um, the Virginia location that... Um, she preferred is actually a new location and it's supposed to open i think the previous not the previous the following weekend after the weekend stacy wanted to do her birthday party so if they open early then she will have it there if not then we'll have it in maryland um and if you don't know um we're going back and forth between maryland or virginia because stacy is originally from virginia so her family is there versus all of her friends and her maryland family which is like her friends and 
in our family um, are in Maryland. So, and then Stacey and Harper actually live in Maryland as well. So yeah, we're gonna start working on that. We're super excited about that and um, getting together the theme and making the decor and stuff like that. So I'm going to get on Stacy to really, really start nailing down what she wants in her vision um, probably this weekend um, so that next weekend is going to be pretty busy with Father's Day but the following weekend it needs to be and every weekend after that we need to be doing something for the party um, because it's going to come very quickly like that but Miss Harp is about to be two years old I know she seems like she's already five because she's so smart but she's not she's only one and she is turning two and it's a big deal so yeah I'm excited about that to help Stacy out with that um I'm pretty sure there'll be some crafts that we need to do and stuff like that so and of course I'll take pictures and try to vlog as much as possible um but I'll probably be a lot you know of hands on that day or whatever just like her first birthday party so I don't know how much I'll get to vlog um but I'm excited about that so that's pretty much what's on my calendar for the next month or so um I'm really, really, really excited about my interior design um, or um, interior uh, decor, decor clients. Um, I love this stuff with a passion. I enjoy it. Like, I can be sitting down working on an inspiration board or something like that for them, and two hours will have passed and it'll feel like 15 minutes to me. That's how I know that I really, really love this stuff. I could be in Home Goods for two hours and it feel like 20 minutes to me. So I'm just really, really excited about it. Um, you know, hearing about a new home decor store opening in my area just really like excites me and everything. So I'm just really excited that YouTube has afforded me the opportunity to reach um, a broader audience with my passion and that I can help them. And it's just amazing to me what has come out of this experience and, so, and I'm so grateful for it so I'm really really excited about that I've been thinking about it for a long time offering the services and stuff like that and I just I don't want to say I was chickening out but I was just focused on other things and then I was doubting myself and everything but I'm just so excited now and I'm in a different headspace as far as that is concerned so you know I'm up for a challenge and I'm really excited to help others you know by doing what I love most so yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys that I'm super excited about my clients and I'm super excited that they chose me and that they like my work and that they trust me enough to um, come into their homes either physically or virtually and help them design a space that they are going to love. So I'm excited about that. What else? I am going to cook this weekend, even if I don't eat it this weekend, because I may go out this weekend. Um... When am I going to cook? I found two recipes on Facebook. And when I say I find them on Facebook, they're not actual Facebook recipes, but I find, find them when I'm scrolling through my feed on Facebook. They're like, they come from like other recipe websites or whatever. So one of them is crock pot lasagna. So I want to make that. The other one is a sausage and shrimp vegetable skillet. And it looks really good. You can either serve it over rice or you don't have to. So... I'm excited to try that out. Um, I've been loving, you know, crock pots and pressure cooker pressure cookers here lately. So I'm excited about that. I think I'm going to get the ingredients for both, but I'm not gonna make them both like on the weekend. I'm gonna make one of them on the weekend and then a couple days later I'll make the next one. It's just a little hard for me to do crock pot stuff during the week because I'm not there during the day usually to turn it off and I'm gone for more than eight hours at a time because my commute to and from work is an hour each way and I have to do you know if I do overtime I'm doing nine hours at work anyway. So it's kind of hard for me to do recipes that um, require hours upon hours to be cooked during the week now I could do them at night time, but then I would break my sleep to have to wake up and turn them off or vice versa. Unless I did an eight hour one before I went to bed and then hopefully it would be time to cut it off when I got home, but then I'll have to warm it back up. And I don't know, I like to eat my meals fresh out of the crock pot. So I may do the crock pot one over the weekend because it'll be easier for me. And then I may do the skillet one during the week. 
I don't know we'll see but I'm trying to get into cooking more just because I don't know like um, I share with you guys that I'm not happy physically with where I am right now so I have some work to do on that and I don't want to always eat out I love <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> I love eating out um, and the experience behind it but I don't always make the best food choices when I do eat out um, because I feel like I'm treating myself so if I want to continue to do that then the, for the majority of the time that I'm not eating out I need to make more healthy um, decisions so yeah um, and what else I've been looking into this keto diet keto diet if you guys know more about it you can let me know um, it's basically I think it's a low carb moderate protein high fat diet or something I don't know a lot of people are doing it and they're losing weight and stuff behind it um, I don't I don't necessarily like diets because I don't stick to them very long I need to change my eating and change my lifestyle I think um, and I'm not big on working out I just don't like it I was going to the gym consistently before but that was mainly for Stacy because she likes to work out um, or she did like to work out I just for me it's just not my thing but I do have a gym membership that I pay every month um, what else what else has been going on with me I don't know I've been thinking a lot about like my situation and stuff um, and mainly I know why I've been thinking about it because court is coming up for me um, in about a month or so and um, yeah so I'm so confident in my decision it's just that I have my moments where I doubt um, myself and I doubt um, you know whether this is right or whether I should or you know what I should do should I be still should I continue on because you know I don't know so I've been thinking about that a lot um, what else um, and I also don't want to I don't want to lead you guys to believe those of you who have been following my channel you know what's going on with my marriage I don't want you guys to think that my husband and I are enemies or we are you know angry at each other to the point where we want nothing to do with each other can't even have a hold a conversation or don't can't even be in the same room with each other that has kind of passed <laughs> um, so and that was never him it was more so me if if anyone um, and not that it, it was even to that degree it was just that the anger was more so inside of me um, but that's not the case we're not enemies or anything I actually do still see him um, we actually do still have conversations um, and we've had dinner a couple of times um, but again it's just you know it is what it is and um, you know there were decisions to be made he made his decisions I've made mine and so we are trying to learn how to move forward and solidify those decisions but it's really hard when one person wants something and the other person doesn't um, it's just really really hard and so I think that's where we are now um, but like I said I feel like I'm confident in my decision. Um, I am a spiritual person, so I do believe that if it's in God's will, it's in God's will. But, you know, then so be it. But right now, you know, I feel like I have a decision to make and, you know, I have to pick a choice and stick to it. So that's what I am doing or that's what I plan to do. But I have been, you know, just thinking about that and just having a little bit of, I don't want to say anxiety, but just, yeah, probably little bit of anxiety um, I could be overthinking the situation a little bit um, because it's getting so close that was one of those things where I kind of was trying to push it as far back to my mind as possible um, for the longest amount of time possible just because of mentally it was just throwing me off and I was in a really really bad headspace because of the situation so the further and further I pushed it out of my mind the more I could focus on other things that made me happy or you know decorating my house or spending time with family or whatever but now that the time is drawing near and near um 
you know, it is something that I have to think about and I have to deal with mentally. Um, so yeah, that's just an update on that. Um, what else? What else? I don't know. I'm really excited to see my niece though. I really, really am. I miss her. Um, and I keep forgetting to show you guys the outfit that I got her for her pictures. It's so cute. Can't wait to see her. Um, my brother sent more pictures of her today. Um, what else? Mm, that may be all I have to tell you guys. I don't really have anything else to say. So I will see you guys. I don't know if I'm going to vlog. Maybe I will vlog her um today when i see her her and marley they're so cute i may do a little bit of vlogging and um ask her if she want to talk to the people she knows she's gonna say yeah she loves you guys so much so um and i really appreciate all the love you guys show her it's so cute and stacy is just like head over here she cannot believe it or whatever like she is like in awe or whatever so thank you so much for all the love and attention and support that you guys give to harp as well that's our baby we love her um and yeah so i'm gonna try to vlog a little bit during that time i still don't know what i want to pick up to eat at all and i'm trying to decide if i should just go home or have my neighbor lady out and i just grab something to eat and drink and head there because I kind of passed Courtney's place on the way home um anyway so mm, I don't know we'll see because I told them I'd be there by 7 and 6 it's six ten now so I don't know I'll let you guys know later but I will talk to you guys later bye oh guys I want to show you guys my shoes that i wore today this is my first pair but they're toms and they're rose gold like metallic they're so pretty i got them from i want to say i got them from either marshall's or tj maxx last year and they were 19.99 so i thought they were really pretty i wore them today and i also wore jeans today on thursday oh well um so i'll see you guys in the next clip bye hey y'all look who it is it's her. She got stickers. Show them all your stickers. Ooh, how many stickers you got? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five. You got five stickers. You got one right here. There's Marley. Say hi, Marley. Marley got stickers too. He put his on the TV though. So I told y'all y'all could see them. They just playing around. She was eating the Oreo. Tell them bye-bye. Bye-bye. Blow them a kiss. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Tell them bye. See ya, ya. See you later. <laughs> what you want to tell them? Hi, baby. Tell them what's up. What's up? Y'all, she started this little whatever this is, and now she keeps saying what's up like this. Tell the people what's up, Harp. What's up? I don't know what's going on with her uh, onesie thing here, her romper, but she's taking it off. Come tell him what's up. What's up? <laughs> That's the most horrible thing that <laughs> she thinks is so cool. But yeah, we're working on something um, to surprise you guys, so stay tuned. Oh, they're saying bye-bye. She said bye to Courtney. Come say bye to my butt. Oh Lord! Come say bye to the whole drama scene. Bye. Come on, give me a hug. I gotta go. Bye bye. No, coming. <laughs> exactly. No, bye bye's going to her house. You go to your house. Okay. I'm coming too. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna be a long night. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I hate this part. <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Bye bye though. I gotta go to my house. Come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Until I'm about to drop your ass off at school tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs>